During the fantastic Halloween special event that Marvel released on Disney Plus this year, Werewolf by Night, many fans were excited to finally see the introduction of Man-Thing into the MCU. This special project revealed Man-Thing in the MCU, and people were so happy about it. But did you know that he almost appeared in other shows before this special? Well, stay tuned to today's video as we discuss this. First up, Man-Thing almost appeared in other Marvel shows before Werewolf by Night. Did you know that the Man-Thing was supposed to appear in other different television specials before he finally appeared in Werewolf by Night this year? Well, it was finally revealed by Kevin Smith that he was planning to appear in another television special before the Halloween special of 2022. This most recent Disney Plus special presentation garnered a lot of positive reviews from critics and fans alike and has now secured one of the Marvel's most infamous characters into the mainstream of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Besides the character itself of the werewolf, the swamp-based superhero of Man Thing has finally achieved the mainstream popularity that many comic book fans have been hoping for. They've been waiting for these characters who appear in live action in some shape or form, and it was awesome to finally see them, especially with the popularity of this Halloween special. Man Thing achieved his popularity due to his insanely charming personality as well as his very violent superpowers. After the success of Marvel's Werewolf by Night this year, there's been a massive interest in bringing the character through into other MCU projects, so hopefully, he can appear alongside other major superheroes within this universe. Back in 1971, Man-Thing was created by Stanley, Roy Thomas, Gray Morrow, and Jerry Conway. Though he had his own series, he's always been one of the lesser-known heroes within the Marvel Cinematic Books, as he's mainly known for teaming up with other characters. There was a television film titled Man-Thing that was released on the Sci-Fi Channel back in 2005, but was forgotten very quickly. The character is also amid appearances in multiple different Marvel and animated series, such as those aired on Disney XD a few years back. His appearances, though, have been very brief outside of the comic books, but we finally got to see his prominent appearance in the Werewolf by Night special event this year. Before this, he nearly managed to lead another project that was cancelled on Hulu. Kevin Smith was recently speaking on the podcast Fat Man Beyond, where he revealed more details about the Howard the Duck cancelled series, and how it was supposed to lead into a massive crossover featuring the Man-Thing. In his typical geeky fashion on his podcast, Kevin Smith gave a very exciting opinion on Werewolf by Night after seeing it on a big screen during its opening night. He spoke about the positive depiction of the character as a lovable creature and also praises accuracy in live action. He seemed to have no ill will over his cancelled project from a few years back. It was more than exciting to see the character appear in any way in live action. When Jeff Lieb was running Marvel Television, he reached out to me and he was like, I've got something that I think you'd be perfect for. He was like, Howard the duck. I was like, of course, yes, what a no-brainer. So we were doing four series, the Patton Oswald Modoc series, the Hit Monkey series, Dazzler and Tigra, and Howard the Duck. So our crossover event, The Offenders, was called The Offenders Giant Sized Man Thing. So they were all going to meet Man Thing in our crossover event. When the show got scuttled, when Kevin Feige absorbed Marvel Television and it became part of Marvel Studios, and they started doing the Disney Plus shows, two of them were already deep in production. But then they got word that they were were killing Dazzler and Tigra and Howard and Duck, but part of the reason they told us was that they had plans for Man-Thing. I was like, what? And we finally saw those plans come to fruition, and I'm so delighted that they brought him to life. How Man-Thing's introduction into the MCU would have been different Jeff Lieb, the former head of Marvel Television, announced back in 2019 that Hulu was developing multiple different adult comedy animated series based on different Marvel characters. These were planned to be Howard the Duck, Modoc, Hit Monkey, Tigra, and Dazzler. The plan was to create a separate shared universe for these characters and then bring them into a crossover titled The Offenders, similar to how the Netflix series worked a few years ago with Daredevil. Following Lieb's removal from Marvel and the company overall, these shows began to hear various production troubles throughout that time. Howard the Duck and Tigra and Dazzler were suddenly never picked up, but Modoc was cancelled after one season. Since then, a bunch of different future animated projects were then handed over to Kevin Feige, who took over all Marvel Entertainment. It's super unfortunate that Kevin Smith's take-up on the most iconic character did not come to fruition, but his appearance within Werewolf by Night made for a better introduction to the MCU, and even he appraised it at the end of the day. Marvel Studios currently have a knack for taking multiple of their different obscure characters and breathing new life into them for the wider and more mainstream audience. Though the Hulu series would have been for an adult audience, it definitely wouldn't have reached as wide a margin as Werewolf by Night did. Additionally, the two Hulu series that did go through 
led to a divisive response, and it would have been unlikely that the character would have received as warm a welcome as he did after appearing in Werewolf by Night. Please let us know in the comments section below your thoughts on all this. And now, on to some other Marvel news to wrap up today's video. Every Man-Thing MCU tease and setup before Werewolf by Night. Though many people thought the first naming of Man-Thing within the MCU was its character's debut within Marvel's Werewolf by Night, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been repeatedly setting up the character ahead of his first appearance. Over the last few years, Marvel has been expanding the type of content that makes for Disney+, and even released its first Halloween special. The Werewolf by Night story focuses on Jack Russell as well as a group of monsters. The special is a spooky exploration of the supernatural side of the upcoming changes within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and was even set to include the popular debut of a character named Man-Thing. Phase 4 is currently growing its massive roster of characters with the inclusion of both Moon Knight as well as Blade. This means they could be setting up the most sinister and supernatural side of the Marvel Universe with these characters as well as the Man-Thing. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1 mentioned Man-Thing The MCU's first mention of Man-Thing came in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1. After the collapse of S.H.I.E.L.D. due to Hydra's takeover, Maria Hill had to go before Congress to answer questions about the organization's secrets Black Widow exposed. This included information on Man-Thing. Maria Hill's phone call with Pepper Potts confirmed that S.H.I.E.L.D. had some knowledge or files on Man-Thing. It even sounds like he was imprisoned at the super-secret location known as The Fridge, as Congress questioned Maria Hill about who or what is a Man-Thing. There was never any other information given about Man-Thing or what happened to him after S.H.I.E.L.D.'s collapse if he was still imprisoned in the fridge at the time. While there have been ongoing questions about agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s MCU canon status, it is worth noting that this Man-Thing MCU reference came at a time when Marvel TV and Marvel Studios had a better working relationship. Finally, Man-Thing was a champion on Sakaar before the Hulk. The MCU also happened to tease Man-Thing back in Thor Ragnarok as he was one of the champions of the planet before Hulk. There's a scene where a giant tower is shown that is filled with the faces of the Grandmaster's various champions. The Hulk statue is currently under construction during the setting of the movie, but there is a very clear face resembling a Man-Thing featured at the top. This indicates that not only was he a part of the Grandmaster's champions in the past, but he could have well been the very first one before Hulk and even Beta Ray Bill. Time moves differently on the planet than in other places in the galaxy, so it's very unclear when Man-Thing was on the planet and when he was fighting for people's enjoyment under the Grand Master. The Man-Thing can teleport and open portals and can easily travel intergalactically, so it makes a lot of sense that he could make his way here and spend a bit of time on his free days off. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know in the comment section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Goodbye.